Hello, today we're going to be setting up the flat top grill for the first time. It just came out of the box, so we're going to take the opportunity now to introduce it to soap for the first and only time of its life. We've got a little bit of soapy water here, and we're simply going to use it to wipe the dust and any type of uh, little particles from factory or from shipping. Just cleaning it a little bit. The grill we have today is a two burner grill from Members Mark. And you know Members Mark is Sam's Club. It is available at Sam's Club for $80. Automatic lighting, son of a gun. No batteries or anything required. Wow. Don't you love it? We're going to let the grill get hot now for about 10 or 15 minutes until we can see the discoloration on the top of the grill. It's already at 252 in just a few seconds. The burners are a U-burner, and they seem to be sitting low enough to where a wind might not be an issue. Wind will be an issue. Even though it's only two burners, there's actually four tubes. These work on one burner, these two work on the other. 460 degrees, front grease track. Never could figure out what this was until recently. It's a match holder. Stick your match in there, light it, stick it in there. But fortunately, we don't need that right now. Put this in there. I'm curious about the amount of heat that it radiates to the bottom. I probably wouldn't set this on a plastic folding table. A wood would probably be okay. The bottom of the burners are sealed. 563. So I brought a measuring device out to give it about a tablespoon. Start with two. It's already smoking, but we want to spread that out with our cotton cloth and just get it as evenly as we can. We don't want it to puddle. So I've been told. But you better be fast with this because I can already see rings there from where um, the edge of the oil cooked real fast. Go around the outside. What I'm afraid of whenever you have a heavy um, thickness of oil that's cooked right there, it's possible peeling. The one thing I failed to purchase, and I think I need desperately, like right now, are fireproof gloves. This baby's hot. Oh, my God. I need a super long handle. All the guys on YouTube that are doing this and look so cool and collected, they lie. 
I don't know if I'm going to have the patience to do this about three or four times, but it's necessary. Yeah, it sure did leave some oil rings from me pouring the oil on there. It left some pretty obvious rings. I hope that that's not too much of a buildup problem. We want multiple, multiple thin layers of oil. Very thin. Put one on, let it burn off. Put one on, let it burn off. It'll stop smoking here in just a moment, and when it does, we know that the oil has been burned off. We're at 680 degrees. I think I should have probably got some locking tongs. It's hot. I'm trying to stay away from the over part. I'm trying to just stick to the edges. It literally has cooked a hole right through the rag. Burned a hole right through it. Sure did. It's a good thing I got a big rag. If done right, this should only be done about uh, once in this grill's lifetime. We're just going to shoot this from a distance now. That, that, that spoon's too hot. Too close for comfort. Get in the corner. Get in the corner. 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 I can't imagine doing this on a 36 inch grill. My goodness. Good Lord. One thing about it, it is cooking that oil off fast. Let's get in those corners there. We're down to 592 degrees. The grill is changing colors. It is just about black. It looked like the oil burnt before covering the entire surface. So I've got a dark ridge right there of oil with dark on this side, original color on the other. That might be a peeling mark right there in the future. Fingers crossed. It's no longer smoky, so let's try this again. I should have this rag already ready to go, shouldn't I? Get it on there, smooth it out, and get out of the way. All I know is this baby is hot. Get this away from me. See? Already hot to the touch. Bad, bad, bad. At this point, there may be enough oil on the rag 
just to keep applying very thin coats. Did I ruin it? Five fifty. That's probably all it needed to be to begin with. Heating a cold grill to a very high temperature really fast might warp that grill. Right now, we have the heat up to season it. And hopefully, it'll be the only time we'll ever have to do that. I don't see any more smoking. I see heat waves coming off of it, that's for sure. But I don't see any more smoking. How many times did we do that? Are y'all keeping count? I lost count. So let's try this wet, this oily rag one more time to put a really thin coat. We're going to let this burn off for one last time, then we're done. I should have checked the time before we started because this has not taken long at all. We're not out here for hours and hours, maybe a half an hour, 45 minutes at the most. It's an investment in the grill to help this $80 grill perform at its best. We need to start cooking. <laughs>